What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, and I'm back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Welcome to a brand new episode of Suit Up, where I take a look at an outfit and tell you if it's worth getting or worth passing. Today we're having a look at the final member of the Future Foundation. We're having a look at the ever-loving Blue-Eyed Thing, otherwise known as Future Foundation Thing. I wonder if anyone ever remembers that the Thing had a cartoon series where he wasn't part of the Fantastic Four, and it was a kid that put rings together to become the thing. No, no one. Okay. Yay, more dated references. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at the thing as soon as I get off the of Phantom X because everyone's been seeing him. He's an attention whore like that. Anyways, the thing, who is also another low costing, I'm going to assume it's a low costing uh outfit for the thing. So, like all future foundation members, he gets future countdown which with two Future Foundation members in the party, they'll have permanently increased attack and accuracy by 35% on round 4. And he gets Share the Future so he can share his buff to all allies, and his buff is Tough Guy. Increases defense when attacked. Similar to uh, Spider-Man's tingling sensation, Tough Guy increases defense for every attack. This counts as, again, like if a person shoots a machine gun and it hits you 5 times, that's 5 attacks. I don't actually know how high Tough Guy can stack. I think it either stacks to 5 or 10, like Tingling Sensation. But this is also amazing for squishy characters, who obviously don't have a lot of defense or health, and would probably die quickly. They'll have very high defense for this. Or even a protector, such as The Thing, Luke Cage, Wonder Man, someone like that. Combined with this, it would make their defense raise even higher and be able to take those bullets even harder. Especially combined with Spider-Man, or Future Foundation Spider-Man, that team-up would have them having increased defense and increased evasion. Increased defense on its own, though, is pretty good, and I'd probably rank Thing as the... his outfit as the second best of the Future Foundation. Sorry, Invisible Woman, but your shields are kind of okay, but we're talking increasing stats here. So, yeah. While I know the Thing isn't that great of a character, people don't tend to use him a lot or like him. Let's hope he become. Oh no, wait, he's not gonna become one of the worthy. Damn it! He was already a worthy, so it's not gonna have. Fuck. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's hope that he becomes a worthy and he gets remade, but. Uh, anyways. But I, I do recommend this outfit if you have Thing. I mean, if you don't use him, it's obvious that you wouldn't want it, but those that do, especially farming the heroic mission of the Fantastic Four versus the UFOs, this is definitely a nice touch to have for all the characters in there, since it's one big Future Foundation fight then. But that's my personal opinion. So I definitely recommend getting the thing. His ability is definitely nice. Being able to increase stats is a very good ability, unlike others. Mr. Fantastic. Anyways, I guess that's all we have for here. So, if you've liked what I had to say, be sure to hit that like comment. Like comment. I can't... <laughs> be sure to like this video. Also comment. And if you want more Marvel Avengers Alliance, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll get my outro right. Asta.